So plasma just dropped on September 25th. And it's basically trying to make sending stable coins like USDD as easy as texting someone. It launched with a $2.4 billion market cap, which is pretty wild for day one. The thing that really stands out is how cheap and fast it is. Sending USDT? No fees at all. Transactions? Instant, like under a second. And it works with Ethereum apps, so developers can move over without dealing with a ton of headaches. You can even pay fees in stablecoins or Bitcoin because of this paymaster system they have. And you can safely bring Bitcoin onto Plasma without giving it to a custodian. And it can handle over 1,000 transactions per second thanks to their Plasma BFD system. Money-wise, it started with $2 billion in stablecoins locked up and already over 100 DeFi apps are hooked into it. Stuff like Aave and Athena. So people can actually start using it for real financial stuff right away. Then there's the token, XBL. It launched at $1.70. Dropped pretty hard to $0.74 cents in just four days. And now it's around $0.41. Cents. It's trading about $320 million per day. There are 10 billion XBL total. 18% were circulating at launch. The team and investors each hold 25% locked for three years, and most of the rest unlocks in 2026. Validator rewards start at 5% per year and slowly drop to 3%. Some things to watch. There were some questionable token moves before launch, like 600 million XBL being sent to exchanges. Almost half the ecosystem tokens were unlocked right away, which could hurt the price. Plus, the launch itself wasn't exactly smooth. People called it a bit chaotic. The people behind it are a pretty big deal. Peter Thiel, a PayPal co-founder, and a team of 50 from places like Google, Facebook, and Goldman Sachs. Some of them have a mixed track record, having worked on projects that didn't pan out. Bottom line, the tech is solid, fast, flexible, and solves real stablecoin problems. But the token itself is risky, mostly because so many new tokens are going to unlock soon. Whether it really takes off will come down to how many people actually use it.